Hey folks, Burning Bag Tutorials. Today I want to do a quick video and show you how I make worm chow. Uh, I bumped on this by accident. I was coming home from work a while back and on top of the dumpster outside my work there was a bag of Wagner's Backyard Wildlife Food. I looked at it and somebody had obviously set it up there because they didn't want to throw it out. And it was full of wheat weevils and stuff. You could see the webs and stuff inside of it. But I thought, well, maybe the worms would eat that if I grind it up. So I took it home. I put it in the freezer. I pulled it out of the freezer. And then I stuck it in the little spice grinder I have here and ground it up. This is absolutely the best worm chow I've had. This stuff is phenomenal. Now what's in this one? A lot of sunflower seeds, whole corn, black oil sunflower seeds, striped sunflower seeds, peanut pieces, and whole peanuts. Now, I mean, you can get this stuff on Amazon really cheap sometimes. Uh, there's a couple different mixes that they have. And for me, it's difficult to get a hold of the Purina worm chow. I mean, it comes in big 50 pound bags and they won't ship it, so people break it up and sell it pretty expensive online. So, this is a real easy way to, for you to make some great worm chow. Get on Amazon, find it when it's on sale, order it, get it in, stick it in a grinder like this, grind it up, and you're going to have some fabulous worm chow. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I grind it real quick. Uh, this is what it looks like on the, uh, when you pull it out of the bag. So put that in a little spice grinder. And that's done. And what I did, I just put it, I ground all of that up. This is what it looks like done. I mean, there's still some little, I mean, chunks of corn that are a little bit bigger, but I'm pretty amazed. Uh, it disappears in the worm bin. I'm not sure how they eat it, but uh, it's gone. So, I'll take you over now and I'll show you one of my vermi minis that I put some worm chow in the uh, day before yesterday. So, it'll just be absolutely inundated with worms. Here's the vermi mini that I put the worm chow in. So let's go open it up and see how many worms have migrated over to the area where we put the worm chow. Uh, it's been about a day and a half now. So let's take a look and see how, much, how many worms are in there now. I'll pull off the burlap I have on top. Now I place uh, little thin sheets of paper towels over the top of my uh, chow. Gets it wet, uh, it absorbs through and stuff. Let's take a look under here and see how many worms are under here. <laughs> there are a lot of worms there. Let me zoom in a little bit. They absolutely love this chow. I mean, so it's basically just bird seed. You grind it up, throw it in there. And I've actually tried where I put uh, the ground up bird seed on one side and actually Purina uh, worm chow on the other. And I actually think there's more worms over on this side here where the bird feed is. So now if I let this go for another day, this whole, and you can see the difference over, let me zoom back out slightly. Over in this area here, you don't see nearly as many worms. Uh, this area here. So I just put the worm chow starting right there over on this other half. But just in one day, the, the worms have really migrated over here. I mean, look at that. There are oodles and oodles <laughs> of worms on here. So, if you want a cheap and easy worm chow, get yourself some outdoor bird mix, grind it up in a little spice grinder, throw it in there, and your worms will love it for a special treat. Uh, 
on a side note, I mean, I don't give them this stuff all the time. I mean, I kind of feel that the whole purpose of having worms is to process all the organic waste that we produce in the house. So to spend a whole bunch of extra money for something that I really don't need, like the worm chow or the bird seed, uh, I don't normally do it. It might be different if you're selling your worms for uh, bait or something like that and you really want to fatten them up because they do well on grains. But, you know, if you see some on Amazon or something for the cheap, you know, on sale, free shipping, by all means, order some, bring it in, grind it up, and throw it in. Your worms will love it. So, from Burmy Bag Tutorials, until next time, ciao.